Mm. Yeah. Oh, so good when they're crispy. Hey guys, welcome back to Allie Can Cook featuring Mama McManus. Hi, I'm Mama McManus. And I'm Allie, and on today's episode of Allie Can Cook, we're going back to the basics and we're going to show you guys how we make our favorite spaghetti squash pasta. Super simple, really healthy, easy recipe, and yeah, we hope you guys enjoy. So for the first step for the spaghetti squash is that you're going to want to cut it in half down the center. Open it up so it has two sides. Scoop out all of the seeds and the extra stuff in the middle there. So just scoop it out, put it into a paper towel, throw it away. Then you are going to want to cover it in olive oil, some salt, some pepper, mm -hmm. and some chili powder. Just to give it a little bit of heat. Use your hands to spread it all around the spaghetti squash. Put them face down on a baking sheet lined with parchment paper. Then you're going to bake it in the oven at 350 for 45 minutes. But while that's baking in the oven, you want to prep your sauce that you're going to put on your spaghetti squash. We're going to add tempeh into our spaghetti squash. Tempeh is a source of protein for people who are vegan. I actually prefer it more than tofu just because it's a little bit meaty texture. Yeah, yeah. it's not as soft as tofu can be. Cut the tempeh. So we're just going to cut thin strips of it. About a quarter inch. Carefully, because it does fall apart, I'm just going to cut it into thirds. So you should have pieces about this thick. So for the seasoning, we're going to use grapeseed oil, some onion powder, and garlic. I'm adding two tablespoons of grapeseed oil to the bowl. I'm going to add one tablespoon of onion powder. And this is the same way that we season our tofu. And then one tablespoon of garlic powder. And it's just to give it a little bit of flavor for when we're frying it, but since we're going to be using a tomato sauce in our spaghetti squash, we don't want to overpower it with a bunch of flavors. Right. So we're just going to mix this up now and add in our tempeh to give it some flavor. Yeah. Okay, so now it's time to fry up your tempeh. So we're just going to turn on our stove to medium mm -hmm. and heat up some grapeseed oil. I'm just going to eyeball it. Pour in a little bit here to get it going. Swish around the oil so that it covers the pan. Mm -hmm. I want to fry them for about three to four minutes on each side. And I'm just individually placing them in. After these have finished cooking and they're golden brown on each side, you're gonna put them in a bowl to the side because we're going to heat up our sauce and then put the tempeh on top after. So they keep their crispiness. Now we're going to prep our sauce for the squash. So we're just using an organic, all natural tomato sauce. There's nothing bad, no preservatives in here. You can also just make your own tomato sauce, mm -hmm. but this is back to basics. So we're just being fast and easy. So your pan should still be hot. So just add your sauce into the pan. Then we're gonna add in some baby spinach. Mm. We love nice spinach, yeah. Our sauce had like olives and capers in it, but you can use any type. You can use an arabiata sauce if you want it spicier. You can use a, just a basic tomato sauce, whatever you love. Also going to add in some chili flakes because we love chili flakes. Nice and hot. I'm gonna just add in a little bit of salt and pepper. Not a lot of salt, just a little bit. And then we're also gonna add in a tablespoon of nutritional yeast. Nutritional yeast is just gonna give the pasta a little bit of a cheesy flavor. Also get us some great B12 because we're not going to put any other cheese on it. So after you've added in your sauce, spinach, and spices, you're going to want to mix it around until the spinach wilts down and cooks a bit. Your pan should be on medium-low. Our sauce is just about done, and we're going to take out the squash from the oven and grate it to make spaghetti. Alrighty guys, so that is how we make our back to basic spaghetti squash. The tempeh honestly looks like fried chicken on top of these, so it's yeah. gonna be a great source of protein, super delicious, and I'm starving now, so I'm so excited to dig into this. Mmm. Yeah. It's so good. 
Mmm. Mm-hmm. It's delicious. It's nice and warm and good comfort food for this time of the year. Yeah. And it was super simple to make. Other than the time it takes to cook the actual spaghetti squash, everything else is very minimal and super easy. Yeah, but you've been doing other things when you when the squash is in the oven, like cleaning up the kitchen. Exactly. Right now. <laughs> Alrighty guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. Please give it a big thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe. We make new videos every single Thursday and we will see you guys next week. Bye guys. Bye guys. Guys, when you're dealing with pasta sauce, always wear your apron. Especially when you splatter it in your top <laughs> pan.